Hey, welcome back to Lady Trady Australia. Uh, today I am renovating another piece of furniture. Um, this time it is a timber TV cabinet or display cabinet. I'm going to try and go Hampton style on this one. So I'm going to bring the top back to a nice clean natural finish and then I'm going to paint the rest of it white. I'm gonna try something a bit different this time and instead of sanding down the stuff I'm gonna paint white um, or the underneath, I'm gonna leave it in the lacquer that it's in and see if it gives it a nicer finish at the end because hopefully with the smooth lacquer underneath, when I use a spray paint on top, it will come out in a nice smoother finish. Sometimes when you sand those fiddly bits, it's not sanded evenly and then you can get a patchy finish on the final product. So I'm going to give something a bit different, uh, give it a bit of a different go today um, and we'll see how it turns out. I've also decided that if I don't like it white, um, because I don't usually go with white, um, at least I can go over it with black like I have on previous furniture items before. It's a bit harder to go black and then decide to try white. Covering up black is a more difficult process. So I'm gonna go white, go Hampton style, go big or go home I say, um, and we will see how it turns out. So same as last time when I renovated the table, we're gonna use a belt sander. I'm using quite a coarse sanding belt for this one because it's got a thick lacquer on top. It's also got a little bit of a bow on top because um, it's aged and cracked a little bit. So I'm gonna use a coarse sander to try and level that out. And then if I need to fill the crack or re-glue anything, I can do that afterwards. So here we go. so you can have a look at a few things. Firstly, you can see the difference. So I've taken it right down to that raw timber, which is pine in this case, um, like a lot of furniture. Um, there's a few things that I wanna point out. So firstly, you can see in some patches, I, I will be going over it again. So I haven't got it all off. I've had to come through quite quite heavy. I've had to push down on that sander. There is a join here, um, which was uneven. So I've sanded that so it's an even surface now. This one is gonna be much more difficult. There is quite a lip here where that's lifted over time because it is an old item of furniture. Now, I wanna point out as well, I am going with the grain. It gives it a smoother finish. You can see just here, I lost concentration for a second and the sander did its own little thing. Um, it went against the grain. So I'm also gonna have to sand over that as well. Those things happen. The best thing about having a solid timber tabletop is that I can just keep sanding it until I get a nice perfect finish um, because it's an inch thick. <laughs> So I'll go over that again, but I'm not gonna go over it yet. I'm gonna finish this piece and then I can use a softer sanding disc for just finishing it off nicely. Um, now, obviously because it's raw timber, even though it's sanded, it feels fairly smooth. It's rougher than lacquered timber. So I'm gonna put a clear coat um, satin finish over the top of this at the end and that will make it return to having that nice smooth feeling texture and um, won't add any color to the tabletop either. So it has that nice authentic timber look, which is so popular with that Hampton style. on the ridge that was along here as much as I can with the belt sander. So I'm just gonna go along and hand sand that last little bit of dark stain out. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out so far. Sanded. 
Um, where that gap was, I've just run some natural coloured filler in there and then I've given that a light sand over the top to remove that um, excess fill. So it looks nice and neat now the whole way down with no crack. As you can see, I've moved on to the matching coffee table now. I've given the top a sand with the belt sander already. So now I'm just touching it up and then I'm ready to spray paint the base. So I'm using a spray paint just purchased from Bunnings today and trying to spray as evenly as possible the whole way around. Remember to wear the correct PPE gear, mask up, glasses, well ventilated area because Spray paint is stinky. The other thing to note about spray, spray paint is that you really should hold the can about 20 to 30 centimeters away from the area you are painting. I found this difficult with this job because there are so many little uh, finicky little areas so I had to get a bit closer than that to do it. So I was finding as I was going around that the finish was not as ideal as what I'd hoped. So on the wider legs I've gone around with a roller just to smooth out that paint finish. And then I've got the kids involved to finish off the doors and that complex lattice work. And they did a great job. So now I'm back inside to finish off the original cabinet. Um, this is far too heavy for me to drag outside in order to spray paint. So I'm going to opt just to paint it by hand, which is going to take um, a little while longer, obviously, but it's probably the best option when I'm in a house. We don't want the overspray getting all through the house. So I'm just plodding along here, uh, doing it a little bit by little bit, but enjoying myself along the way. I used a sample pot, 500 ml of British paints for each cabinet. Um, I just found that to be the cheaper option and it was plenty to get it all done. Okay, so the top is finished off with that clear varnish which I spoke about earlier in the video. Um, again, just something I've picked up from Bunnings. I prefer to use a varnish that is water-based just to make clean up a lot easier but also to wipe it down if there's any spills or drips as well. Um, and I just prefer the finish of that myself. But you can pick up all of these items that I'm using today from Bunnings or your local hardware store. Um, any kind of white paint that will stick to a pre-varnished item, just talk to the lovely lady or bloke at the paint shop and they'll be able to head you in the right direction. So if you're ready to do some muscle work and some finicky little things this is a great project i really enjoyed it and i'm really happy with the end result it's going to look wonderful